Hello chaps and welcome to build update number 11 okay and in build update number 10 we had the uh, camouflage all finished off the detail painting was done and the decals were on um, all bar one which I had last night I'll show you now in a sec and um, I was t last night then I walked away on the chipping okay so I got the chipping done um, I wanted to we'll have a quick look at that. We we'll start off with the base. Why not? There's the uh, there's the base. Um, as you can see, it's uh, nicely chipped. Not too much. I don't think it's too much anyway. Okay. Um, you know, they were, they were they were sort of quite beaten up. Okay. Um, you know, the, the, these are these are uh, a well used uh, piece of equipment. Uh, they fought in all theatres of war, and um, you know they were quite. Uh, you know, you'd have, once the gun was in place, you'd have people clambering all, all around it. You know what I mean? So you know, with the uh, sort of the boots of the day, they were sort of hobnail boots. So you'd metal tips basically on the on the, so on the heels and soles of your boots. And they'd have been scraping off all the paint as, as people walked over it and things like that. Okay, so that would have been a little bit more chipped than the rest of it. So there's the base. Okay, I also did the under legs here, the two legs that fold up. Okay, I didn't bother with the rest of them because I, when I finished the um, you know for the final reveal, I'm going to have it down with all the figures. But when I'm displaying it at home here, um, I'm going to have the sides up and I'm going to have it uh, in its bogies. You know, it's just, it's, it's easier. It doesn't take up so much space. I don't have very much space. Space is at a premium. So, uh, dioramas and things like that are really a no-go. Um, they're usually only sort of for the, the final reveal of it. And I've used, I'm using some that I, I, I made some time ago when I did have space because I was in a, a much larger uh, a much larger house and I had plenty of room to display things. Well, not necessarily to display them, but to, you know, to, to, to keep them in one place, in one piece, shall we say. But even at that, they started to fill up the place. But uh, there's the chipping anyway. I made my own chipping colour, um, as I said last night. I used... Um, I'd say it'd be about say seventy percent um, dark iron and um, about thirty percent then uh, NATO brown. End up then with a kind of a, a brownie metallic, with a hint of red kind of um, a colour. So it would do as uh, basically as, as chipped paint, where they you know you're down to the metal, you're down to the bare metal and. Um, start the oxidization process where it kind of goes blackish kind of color first um, and with constant wear and things like that it might never actually get to rust but the, the, you're, you're, you get down to kind of looking like that eventually stop using it then it'll just start rusting away but in general use you know areas that get chipped the reason they get chipped is because they keep getting sort of uh, worn away in that area and once they're chipped they'll keep getting worn away in that area that doesn't sort of stop once they're still in use. Okay, so here's the uh, the gun mechanism section. Okay, um, there's the uh, this side here is the yep that's the fuse setting side. Okay, they set the fuses with for when the uh, shell is to explode. Okay, and there we've got the firing and all that. Right, you're setting the, uh, the elevation for the gun and the traverse and all that kind of thing. So that's all done from that side, that side there. Okay, but you can see the chipping. It's not too, not too intense up around here. Um, but you will get little scrapes along the top and things like that. You know, because I mean, when it's in its carriages and thing and and being transported from section to section. It's going to brush off trees and this, that, and the other, and yeah, maybe it'll get a little bit chipped. Maybe that's a bit too much, but uh, even at that, you know, it, it doesn't look doesn't look too bad. I don't think I'm quite happy with that, you know. 
So there's our chipping on the mechanism. And it'll all kind of, once the, the, uh, the next couple of stages are done, it'll all kind of blend in together and look much better. Um, a lot of these stages, when you look at them before they're, you know, the, the whole finished article, uh, it just kind of starts looking weird for a while until you start, you know, blending in the, you know, washes and all that kind of thing. And then the whole thing comes up much better. Right. As you see, I'm after adding the uh, decal there for the um, the kill rings. Somebody basically commented, what was I going to do to kill rings? And there you go. I think it was Ian asked me. Um, there's, the, there's the kill rings. Okay. I decided to put them on. Now the decal comes practically to the end of the barrel, but uh, you can shorten it into whatever many rings you want. I, I shortened it to that. I'm quite happy enough with that. Um, looks okay, okay. Um, and again, just a small little bit of chipping on the gun, not too much, but again, then not too little either. You know, if one part of it is chipped up, then you got to kind of continue it on. You can sort of have some areas say badly chipped and the other thing then just like like new you know you still have to kind of continue it around here's our shield the front shield I think this came up very good actually I must admit um, the chips and scrapes and that look quite nice right both sides and on the inside as well okay so there's the uh, that's the gun section of it and the chipping done and all that uh, even on these bars all right so let's have a look now at the uh, at the bogies same again just that that sort of liberal chipping all the way around not too much as you can see here I've after adding on the wheels as well okay putting the rubber onto the uh, onto the wheels did a little bit of chipping on the wheels you know you can't have exactly chipping everywhere and that nothing on the wheels so I put the wheels on really because I want to kind of get the uh, the weathering and any weathering done to it that it's all the same type of weathering um, so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it basically I just wanted to get the wheels on I was kind of spread all over the shop and I just thought it would look nice getting the wheels finally onto it um, so there's the wheels or the wheels in place and um, everything looking ship shape so there we go this bogey number one and then bogey number two it's basically the same again uh, no difference just sort of uh, liberal chipping making sure you get sort of each area done not just the one section um, you know you'd have people soldiers will be clambering all over that and like I said they'd have their hobnail boots and they'd be clambering all over that left right and centre plus it's, you know, it's being dragged around the place they're not uh, the mechanical sides of it are, are maintained but the, the bodywork you know it, it is war and uh, you know they're they don't really have that much time to spend to making the gun look all pretty. Plus, the more battered up and things like that it gets, the more kind of camouflage is in. So it's sort of a, a natural camouflage added to it. So that's the gun section done. Um, next step for that now will be to give it a glass coat. And that's what I use. Alclad 2 from uh, Aqua Gloss. No, it's Aqua Gloss from Alclad 2. Ha! Alclad Aqua Gloss. I was the uh, 660. Aqua glass, that's what I use. There we go. The yeah, C660 Aqua Glass. Brilliant glass finish. Um, poured straight from the bottle, no mixing, no nothing, no messing around. And it gives a fabulous, good, strong um, coat. Uh, quite protective for what's underneath it. And then um, it's a it's a good base then for uh, weathering with oils and things like that, which is what I'm going to use. I'm going to do some oils and stuff for the weathering. Now, here are the figures. That's what I'm going to get done then after that, after the uh, the glass coat goes on, because um, the glass coat I'm going to leave it dry for a day or two. 
so I'm going to work on the figures now for the next day or two and I'll get the, uh, have the, the flesh done on them so now it's time to start getting the uh, getting the rest of the colours onto it their uniforms and uh, I'll, if I have time then I'll do the little motorbike as well ok and all that's left then really but paint wise then will be just uh, the ammo crates and the tips of the shells so you know nearly there nearly at the end of the uh, at the end of the game uh, but at the same time there's still plenty to do still plenty to do um, I mean I've got all the uh, oil weathering to get done on the um, on the gun itself I've the painting there on the figures a bit of weathering then on the figures as well and then put them all together onto the onto the die off for the for the final reveal so I'm going to leave you with that lads don't forget to stay tuned to the channel yes please stay tuned to the channel and um, best way to sort of be there for the next update is to hit the bell the notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as I upload the next installment of this uh, this fabulous little kit um, overall so far I really would recommend this kit for anybody anybody at all um, even a beginner just take your time you know don't rush it watch a couple of videos of a couple of people building not necessarily mine there are more out there than mine but um, yeah I, de I definitely recommend it um, just take your time uh, be gentle when you're handling things because that's a little pokey of things that they, they, if you're a bit heavy-handed you can break them off and snap them off and they're harder to kind of fix on after that but overall it's a brilliant brilliant kit um, so with that said I'm going to leave you with that uh, I'll catch you tomorrow and uh, by then we'll have the glass coat done in that and hopefully a couple of the figures done anyway at least so until then let's take care enjoy our modeling stay safe be nice to one another and go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it as John signing off I'll catch you on the next one lads stay safe